everybody welcome to the mother well welcome to the channel uh today i got a little tier list for y'all of course it's a little uh barbecue tier list where the day before fourth of july for people that celebrate the uh i guess day of independence or whatever um food i really like barbecue food i this is the main thing that i cook so i'm gonna have to give it a tier list of course this is just with the meats uh we'll get into the sides a different time at some point probably later on maybe next week or like the week after because next week i do have my next episode of the podcast but this one is just straight meats i'm only i'm only doing meat no ditty uh let's let's go ahead and get started bro uh first ones we got is what we call the baby bags all right now me personally i like baby bags i like baby bags more than spares i feel like sometimes uh spares doesn't have enough meat so i gotta go with baby bags that is uh that's my main thing right there honestly if I was to put it up against like all the other ribs, it beats all the other ribs. 100%. Ba baby bags are 100% the way to go. Not saying that there's anything wrong with the St. Louis. I just feel like a lot of times I just don't get enough meat. Or if I'm making it, I don't get enough meat on my bones, bro. No ditty. But next up we have is beef ribs. Now. If I was to cook them the way that they're originally supposed to be cooked, I'm gonna put them in C. I'm not really that huge of a fan of it. A lot of times, like it's it's more of a process to basically cook them right and to get them like that good juiciness that like you basically will want. But honestly, what I do personally with beet ribs or short ribs, I just make them in the burnt ends, just basically beef rib burn-ins bro just cook it uh you can cook it with or without the bone on uh i cut the bone off and then i cook it and then you know do the whole process and shit like that but dog beef ribs i'm gonna have to put in c off of the sheer fact that the process of cooking is a little bit kind of crazy if you're trying to make them right and if you don't make them right then they can end up hella fucking like dry and shit and i hate that with passion and then they become tough you like you you don't want your you don't want your ribs to be tough man like i don't know i'm i'm not a big fan of them i've had a lot of tough ribs i've made a lot of them that are tough i'm I just not that good with beef ribs so i just make them into burn ins it just works out way better uh brisket honestly brisket is definitely mid bro brisket is 100 percent mid and texas is known for it but it's like mid as fuck, bro. Like I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> briskets are briskets are pretty mid. A lot of the seasonings that y'all just put on briskets is like probably just salt and pepper, and y'all call it a good day. If you're going Texas style, Texas style is salt and pepper, bro, because they like to let the meat shine. Fuck that, bro. Nah. Like you can get some, you can get some really good briskets that would be like you know top tier. Like it'll put it'll make it seem like this is definitely an A, but dude if you're going to like restaurants and like a lot of stuff and like places dude briskets and they have brisket the brisket's always meh briskets whenever you make it at home unless you unless you personally know how to make really good brisket all the other briskets it's just meh so bro b tier i will say it's 100 percent definitely better than some beef ribs though um what's next the uh the broths AKA uh, DDL Glizzies. Um, they're kind of mad too. I don't really eat them that much. Uh, for how they're always presented and stuff like that, I don't really eat like all the shit that's all over it. But if I was to make like my own broths, kind of whatever, dude, I'll pick a hot dog over a broth any, any fucking day. Broths are really good, but I will pick a hot dog over a broth. Uh, dude, the American staple right there, bro. Burgers, 
bro you cannot go wrong with a burger even if the burger is undercooked you still can't really go wrong with it bro even if and if the burger is overcooked you can still kind of go wrong with it but the amount of bullshit that you already probably putting on it is just gonna make up for that dry ass fucking patty that you made unless you burnt that bitch but burgers bro burger burgers are hard to mess up like a, a burger is like it literally tells you when it's done basically that's how i see it but that's probably just the big back in me or something like that i don't i don't know but anyways that's a fucking staple right there um burnt ends definitely up there 100 percent uh hey i would actually put it above uh burgers i personally like burnt ends i like the fact that it could just it's just a little pop in your mouth it's they're just one inch cubes bro you you just put the whole thing in your mouth call it a good day all right but really crazy a lot of uh for people that know for burn ins i think a lot of burn ins are made uh whenever they get like the uh brisket and they get like the tip of it which i think is like the tri-tip or whatever which we got that over here but basically yeah a lot of people make burn ins with that cut um i make it as i said before with the what what ash beef ribs so yeah but burn ins are just really good really really it it elevates both of these for sure <laughs> for sure um chicken wings honestly man if you get some good ass chicken wings bro like you know, you do you have to you have to get if there's chicken wings there bro I rarely see anybody pass up chicken wings. Like chicken wings is probably like the top tier number one like barbecue food. Because people always grab chicken wings. Like you would you, you won't really see like anybody not touch chicken wings at a cookout, barbecue, or anything. Like them bitches are usually gone pretty quick. So chicken wings gotta get up there. I'm talking about like barbecue chicken wings definitely have to get it up there a lot of people uh will make wings and they'll put like uh buffalo i would i would count that in a way i mean it's not like it doesn't have barbecue sauce but if you cook it on a grill and like you cook it in a barbecue style and then add like you know uh the buffalo sauce and everything like that bro you'll be all straight next up we have is another chicken but this is grilled chicken um honestly i wouldn't say is i wouldn't say is like c i wouldn't say it's down there with the beef ribs but honestly it's definitely just meh i'm not really going to be looking for grilled chicken honestly matter of fact i'm gonna put it down here and then i'm gonna move the beef ribs down there because the beef ribs are just they're good like everything on this tier is good right but they're just the beef ribs just do not touch with the rest of everything else on this list has. But I, I I don't feel right putting the grilled chicken in with the brisket and the broths. That's the problem. So 100%. Yeah, bro. Grilled chicken just goes there for me. The problem is, is like if you go to like a lot of cookouts, they will overcook that chicken. That chicken will not taste that good as much barbecue sauce that you put on that bitch. You will get caught in mouth. So that is crazy. Uh, next up is hot dogs. It's another staple, American barbecue staple, burgers and hot dogs. If you say that you're gonna have a barbecue, these are the two things that you basically must need at all times. You don't have to have both of them if you have like a whole bunch of like other items. But one of them must be present, bro. I that's what I feel. That's an unwritten rule that I feel that should just be on there. Y'all just end up letting me know in the comments if y'all think that, like, you know, that that shouldn't really be like a rule or whatever. But it's a rule to me. If your place doesn't, if you're throwing a cookout or whatever, you you don't have burgers or hot dogs, 
This is not a cookout. This is a meet and greet of a of a dinner. Like <laughs> this is you're not cooking out no more, dog. Cut it out. Cut it out. Uh hot links. Honestly, hot links are kind of whatever too. I don't really care for them that much. Um if I'm looking for more of something that that is more of like sausage like or something like that and they have hot links then i'll grab it but other than that i'm not really touching the hot links whatsoever um i don't even really think i'm actually cooking them to be honest like if they're there they're there if they're not then i probably would forget that they even exist <laughs> like i hot links are not really that that cool but i don't know what these are kind of put it there like that. They're kind of in the same category. Now that I think about it, uh, pulled pork sandwiches. I'm put. I'm putting pulled pork here off of the sheer fact that a lot of y'all, I can. Well, this is from my experience in North Carolina. A lot of y'all motherfuckers do not. And I repeat, for some reason, do not know how to pull, <clears throat> how to make pulled pork right, bro. I get that there's two different styles that a lot of people go with. And it's either with the shoulder or it's either with the whole pig. All right, cool. But when you start putting all this extra shit in there, which I've seen from some barbecue places, they like to put like some weird shit inside of it as well, too. That's where I'm out of it, bro. If it's not just like pulled pork and barbecue sauce, I don't really fuck with it. That's just me personally. I don't like all that extra other bullshit. So it's going in there. A lot of places give that extra bullshit. So it's going. Uh, spare ribs. Dude, you can't go wrong with St. Louis, bro. It's just until like they don't have enough meat on the bone. And then that's the only problem. Just, we're just going to keep that there. There's no ribs are good. Pork ribs are good fucking amazing um and honestly dude we gotta throw triceps into the b category it, i give the same thing for like uh like they're like they're there sometimes they're pretty good sometimes people make them and they're like kind of trash or whatever <laughs> or they they're like kind of like a little bit too dry they don't know how to cook them right it's i, I don't like it or there's there's problems with it, but whenever made correctly is really good. So that's it for this tier list. Let me know if I miss something for American bar barbecue wise. Like I know that there's you can count like other stuff like tacos or whatever, but that I feel like it's more getting into fusions because that's coming from other uh, uh, ethnicities or countries or whichever you want to call it. I don't know the word at the moment, but yeah. Just American barbecue wise. Let me know what I'm missing. Of course, I know for a fact I'm missing sides. This is straight like meat. This is meat connors, connoisseur, con whatever. This is a meat area, bro. No ditty. But yeah. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to change anything. Peace. Stay blessed. Uh -huh.